From passengers trying to throw phones on board, to the most embarrassing heckling, to passengers just missing the ship, to repeat offenders and angry captains. Being late to a cruise ship is guaranteed to lead to immense drama. Today we will be looking at the most iconic, embarrassing and straight up hilarious pier rudder moments. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing for more weekly traveling content. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Having a whole gigantic Oasis class cruise ship holler and whistle at you is bad enough. But when there's a second cruise ship also about to leave next door, the atmosphere gets intense and almost stadium-like. Watch as over 10,000 passengers spectate a couple returning almost an hour late. Ever wondered what actually happens when you're late and miss your cruise ship? Well, watch these two passengers being turned away after being 45 minutes late. Every cruise line has a port representative in every destination they visit. Before the ship leaves, ship security enters the missing passenger's room and attempts to locate the guest's IDs or passports so that they can fly internationally if needed. These documents are then given to the port representative as seen in the yellow envelope here. The representative will then help the passenger book transportation to the next port of call or to the ship's final destination, although the individual will be fully responsible for paying for the traveling costs themselves. Additionally, if you barely miss a ship, expect passengers to mockingly sing goodbye to you, a truly disastrous way to end a very expensive vacation. One thing to note is that the second the cruise ship starts moving, there is no going back. It's just like with airplanes, the second it leaves the gate, it is not coming back for you. These two different sets of passengers on two different cruises in Nassau Bahamas don't seem to know that and start running and shouting after the ships. Shouting. Of course, all this is to no avail, and the passengers will have to fly back to Florida at their own expense. When you're arriving 35 minutes late, the least you can do on your way back is run, but at the very minimum, act like you care and jog back. These passengers didn't get the memo and are casually strolling back to the ship. The captain doesn't seem too impressed by this behavior, however, and honks the horn. See, we're leaving, baby. Now they start running. Now that's a real wake-up call telling you to run. The embarrassment of showing up late to a ship is something most of us would rather want to forget. This won't be a problem for this group of three passengers strolling back from a day of partying in Tortola. Watch the barely conscious passengers stumble on the last few steps to the gangway.
It's one thing to be late to the ship once, but it's another to be late three times in a row and a total of four times on the same exact cruise. Watch the ship's reaction as Carnival's senior cruise director John Heald announces two special missing passengers that have made a name for themselves in the cruising industry. And ladies and gentlemen, before I say this next bit, my hand is on my heart. I have a list in front of me. I have three guests who I'm going, who have already shown it to. Also not on board are Michael and Louise Rossi. Oh my God. One has no words. I, I truly have no words. Uh, they have called and said that the, uh, they missed the train to get back. They're on the next train. They should be here. Train gets to the station actually at 8.35. So now, and then uh, we're going to bring them onto the ship. They'll come on board. We will lock them in the cabin. They will not be allowed out the rest of the cruise. <laughs> Let's finish off with an unusual view of pier runners from the perspective of pier runners themselves. Here's some tips you should follow to avoid this happening to you. Always aim to be on board at least 30 minutes before all aboard time. If you're late, call the cruise line and let them know. Make sure to know the difference between ship and local time, as your ship might run on a different time zone than the port you visit. All aboard times are always in ship time. And lastly, if you're late and everyone is waiting for departure on the balconies, the least you can do is give it a good run. If you sprint, you might at least get cheered on. If you walk or stroll, expect boos and heckles. We hope you enjoyed this compilation of Peer Runners. If you did, please consider subscribing for more weekly traveling content and get us closer to our 10k subscriber goal for this year. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep cruising.